I'm, I'm willing to give Bill the benefit of the doubt once again. Could be the traffic. Megan, even if it were gridlock, how could it possibly take him three hours and 17 minutes? 18 minutes. Oh, right. You are, Catherine. Three hours and 18 minutes to make the 10-minute drive from his Six place. Six-minute Six drive from his place to here. You should have. Megan. You should have called at least. At least. Wow. Well, maybe the phone lines are down. Megan, don't throw celery. Carrots. Oh, don't throw carrots either. Hello? Be sure you say a lot of people are hungry. My dad wants you to know a lot of people are hungry. Tina says she's studying about it in sociology, and it's a bummer. You're not actually harboring the fantasy that he's going to show up, are you? Well, dear, I, I actually hope he will show up, possibly uh, possibly within the next few minutes. Uh, but in any event, I think an interesting time has been had by all up to this point. I will certainly remember this evening. Shall I? No, no, dear. Uh, let me. Tracy, you want to put Keith to bed? Sure. Take Megan, Come too. <laughs> Megan. Hello. Hello, Wendy. Delightful children. Oh, I'm fine. Especially you? if you don't live here. Keep trying to reach him, all right? And and, and try to reach Woody, too. Maybe he knows something. I, I'll, I'll call you back. That was uh, Wendy. Bill hasn't picked her up yet, and this phone's still busy. Jojo, you remember my son, Carl Jr.? Sure. Yeah. I thought you were off at Georgetown University. So did we. He uh, had a little uh, problem and he dropped out temporarily. Oh? Yeah, I uh, punched out a priest. <laughs> He's staying out back uh, until he finds a job. I didn't know you built a guest house. We didn't. He's just staying out back under a tree. What's the occasion? You have another kid? We're celebrating the third anniversary of your father being appointed general manager of WBFF. Well, nice turnout. Quite a tribute to you, Pops. Uh, some of the guests haven't arrived yet. <laughs> yeah, well, I like what showed up. Look at it. Hello. Hi, Wendy. Young Carl. He did? He, uh, seems pretty sedate tonight, huh? He's only been here 90 seconds. True enough. Well, I'm going to leave pretty soon myself. Well, wait a second, wait a second. That's Wendy. Woody told her that Bill told him that this was scheduled for tomorrow night, not tonight. Bill knew it was tonight. Let me, uh, let me talk to her. Bill even told Carl he wasn't bringing anything because he didn't want to waste a fine wine on him. Yeah. <laughs> and he also told Tony that it was totally called sure. off. <laughs> you think that's funny? Well, it's a... I think no. it's great. Bill Bittinger is beautiful. Oh, Carl makes his wimpy plans. Oh, oh, Buffalo Bill screws him up. <laughs> and that makes you happy. No, no, you yeah, I love it. No, Catherine, I'm sorry right. about the mix-up, but I'm going to have to leave. It's kind of late, and I've got to be in the right. studio in the morning. No, no, no. Why don't you, uh... No, stick around. It's early, and, no, uh... It's all right. I, I thought, uh, maybe you and I could, uh, go out for a beer later on or something. <laughs> I'll be out back. Yeah, but Wendy... Under the tree. Yeah. Okay, goodbye, Wendy. And, uh, hey... If the dog barks tonight, I'm going to set it on fire. <laughs> Jokes on him, you know. The dog died two weeks ago. You know, in a way, it's, it's remarkable the progress we've made. We have virtually eliminated the stereotype. The black shoe shine boy is now white. Makeup heretofore the exclusive province of the gay community <laughs> is now being handled by a very nice Negro. Yeah, talk about progress. Well, I'll tell you something, man. You'd never see a scene like this in Russia. Well, now, that's true. You know, they have an old Eskimo union over there. Hard to crack that barrier. Yeah, I think we ought to count our blessings. I'm on my knees. <laughs> What'd you say, Driftwood? Uh, uh, nothing. I was just horsing around when I should have been working. Sorry. Uh, Bill, I, I, I got to talk to you about something that's really important. Oh, here's a man with something on his mind. Well, first of all, 
I, I forgive you for failing to attend my anniversary supper last night. You told me I the understand. anniversary supper was tonight. Well, what you, let him finish, okay? And get this area right around the laces there. There's oh, right. Fingerprints, my fault. Fingerprints, yeah. Uh, secondly... Sounds to me the, like everybody at the station was invited to this uh, shindig. Oh, no. No. No, uh, no, 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 uh, no not everyone. No, 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 no everybody. No, no. I, I, I think probably Carl figured that Tony would be a better representative of your people. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Shaw. Please, mm -hmm. Joe, let's not get into this yeah. right now. Please. As a matter of fact, the reason I did not attend is my phone was off the hook. Is that a reason? Well, in and of itself, no, it's not. But the fact is, I was assembling one of those uh, big screen televisions. Do you guys know that place called Fat Berry's Big Screen Bargain Bonanza oh, sure. Barn out on uh -huh. the 190? Yeah, uh -huh. Bill. I go in there, I swear, I go in there the other day, and a man says, a child can assemble Wilson. one of these big screen, right? Bill. I'm telling you, he takes a computer Bill. science, and then he doesn't even give me the screw. Bill! It's okay. It's all right, it's all right. Got a man here flirting with old Mr. Blood Pressure. <laughs> you okay back there, fella? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I gotta talk to you, Bill, about something very, very private. Yeah, hush hush, is it? Okay, Wadolfo, Noodleini, let's knock it off, all right? Hey, wait a minute, I ain't through yet. Your hair looks like it's been through a Cuisinart. It's all right, we'll get it later. Got a man with a problem here, come on. Okay, Shever, what do you got? It's, uh... This is a very difficult subject for me, Bill. Prostate. <laughs> Maybe I won't bother you with this mm -hmm. right now. Come on, you got me on pins and needles here. Spill it. Listen, you know I wouldn't come to you unless I were desperate. Well, uh, I'm desperate. <laughs> it's my son. My firstborn. My namesake. <laughs> He's become something of a problem. Ever since the last few babies yeah, have like. come along. Oh, huh? Yeah, like? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh... Uh, ever since the last few babies have come along, uh, 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 there's been no communication, none whatsoever, just anger and hostility. And, and it's hard for me to deal with because I I, I was never the oldest child. And, and, and growing up, I, I never had anything to rebel against. Uh, uh, everything was Jake with me. I, I, I love my parents and my parents loved me. And by, by the same token, every, everything was hunky-dory between me and young Carl all through his formative years. We fished together and we, we, we did all all those pal things that fathers and sons do, and now I, I just, I'm at my wit's end, Bill. I, I feel confused. I, I feel powerless. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I, mm -mm. Uh, Let me stop you just for a second. I'll go just yeah, for a second. Sure, Bill. Sure. Do you think that those discount houses have the right to, to sell you faulty equipment just because they cut the price? <laughs> you, you haven't heard a word I said, have you? Yeah, you said something about your kid. <laughs> have you no compassion. Well, Carl, come on, man. I'm talking about big screen television. That's important, too. Bill, I'm asking for your help. My son idolizes you. He, he wants to be just like you. Yeah. He, he thinks you're the be-all and the end-all. <laughs> you're the only thing he ever talks about. Bill yeah. said this, Bill said that. Can you believe it? <laughs> I guess you can. Well, Will you, will you help me? What do you want? An autograph picture? Just uh, see Woody about that. You know, he'll give you a couple. I need you to talk to my son, Bill. I, I need you to try to make some sense to him about family and about values, about how important he is to Catherine and me. You want me to talk to your son? I told you, Bill, I'm at my wit's end. Let me ask you one question, Carl. Do I owe you a favor? No. <laughs> you won't help me. Mm. Not a matter of won't, Carl. It's a matter of can't. I'm up to my ears. My hair alone is way out of control. You won't help me. Not now, Ace. For now it's got to be a big nix. Uh, Carl, wait a minute. Look. If I can, and I say if, if I can get that big screen assembled, I, I might have you over, okay? <laughs> I said, Mike. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I, 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 I guess so. I, I just, <laughs> I just did the most ridiculous thing. What? Get this. I asked Bill for a favor. Are you crazy? I guess I was momentarily, otherwise why would I have done it? It's me. 
My son idolizes him, you know. I thought foolishly that Bill might be able to talk some sense into him before he rapes and pillages the entire countryside, but... Uh... You know what I think? I think little Carl's doing a number on you. Don't you see? He's screaming for attention. He's so jealous of the other children, how they occupy your time. I think he intends to make you and Catherine pay for every single time you didn't listen to a new record album or you were too exhausted to play ball with him. Catherine and I have been exhausted most of our adult lives. What about drugs, Carl? Well, Catherine tried marijuana at a party once, but it made her cry. No, I mean uh, yourself. Uh, oh, uh, I, possibly. I don't know. I, 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 I don't think so. But nowadays, who knows? Uh, what do you think? Maybe he's merely been possessed by the devil. Oh, that'll be just my luck. <laughs> No big thing, but it's a minute and 30 seconds to air. Well, we're here. You're usually here much earlier. It's my fault, okay? My life was shot to hell. I was leaning on JoJo for a little emotional support, but go on, rake her over the coals. JoJo, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just get so caught up in trying my darndest to have the show run smoothly, I plumb forget there are human feelings involved. Did you say plumb forget? Yes, I did. On the prairie, are we? No, Jojo, we're not on the prairie, we're in the booth. And I am enormously sorry for having taken you to task. When did your life get all shot to hell? It's been heading that way, but last night was the coup de grace. I'm sorry about last night. The bill told me that the dinner was canceled. Yeah, I had a frozen waffle and went to bed. Mom went to bed. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. Why, well, just hit me. This might work. Let the kids see Bill close up. Get him a job here at the station. Bill will inevitably show his true colors, and your son will realize that his hero worship is misplaced. Voila, problem solved. And in ten seconds. Amazing. Oh, love, perfect. <laughs> One word is he annihilates. <laughs> and five, four, three, two. Hello, Buck, hello. Hello, hey. How are you? Thanks for coming out today. We got a heck of a show for you today. We got uh, Erie County's own Dave Valenza, who happens to be a cousin of Lech Valenza. Is it Valenza or Valesa? I don't know. Ne I never got this straight. <laughs> At any rate, you know who I'm talking about. We're talking about the man himself. I, uh, a little personal problem, real quick. I'll make this fast. The other day, I went out to a place called uh, Fat Berry's Big Screen Bargain Bonanza Barn out on Interstate uh, 190. Anybody uh, familiar with the place? Anyway, I went out there, and uh, Fat Berry himself waits upon me, sells me, at a reduced cost, I'll, I'll grant you that, a big screen. Now, I don't know, uh, I don't know whether he figures, you know, because he reduces the price, it doesn't have to work. I don't know, that's, that doesn't seem right to me somehow. And I also don't know how you people feel about me, but I can tell you how I feel about you. If something like that happened to any one of you, and I mean any one of you, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd boycott the place. Severe? Too severe? Maybe. I don't think so. I don't call that severe. I call that, uh, I call it justice. Okay. Enough of the downer material, okay? Let's, let's have some fun here. Bring Dave out here. Dave, does he know which skirt? Okay. Dave, come on out here. Now, if there's no place for him, I, I, I want you to tell me what he... Oh, rest assured, I can always use an extra pair of hands, Mr. Uh, Show. Good, and you're not just saying this to be nice now. Absolutely not. And believe you me, I'm really going to put him through the paces. Oh, needs to be put through paces. It needs to be put through lava. You'll get no preferential treatment for me just because he's the boss's son. Good. Now, what, what, what exactly will you be doing? Well, you'll be helping me out. Well, well, what does that entail? Oh, a whole myriad of things. Like what? Well, like getting here at 7 in the morning and staying till 7 at night. Yes, showing up and leaving, mm -hmm. but what, what about in between those times? Oh, the list goes on and on. He'll be helping me in all phases of my job. Oh, you, you know, Woody, it's funny, and it's not that I've ever noticed any dereliction in duty on your part, but uh, what, what specifically do you do? Oh, that's a good one, Mr. Shove. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Woody, what do you do? Honestly? Yes. Well, uh, where do I begin? I, I don't know. What do you tell me? Well, the stage manager, of course, I manage the stage. Now, is that clear to you, Mr. Oh, Shelton? Oh, yes, yes, very, very clear. But the management of the stage includes... Oh, uh, a million and one things. Yes, but some of those million and one things are... 
Well, why don't I listen for you? Would that be easier? I think that would be ideal. A or one, the backstage area. I manage that. B or two, the offstage area. Now, that's just... Can you picture this? To the right and the left of the stage. I manage that also. Then, of course, C or three, the actual stage itself. Managing that is the hardest of all. Am I going too fast for you? No, Woody, you're going exactly the right speed, but I'm going to stop you now because I want to absorb what you've already told me. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, hey, Woody, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Uh, coffee? Yeah, please. Uh, listen, I'm having a whole gang of people up to my house for chicken and ribs tonight. Uh, Wendy, Jojo, Tony's coming. Uh, key management personnel, technicians, switchboard operators, what have you. <laughs> um, you think you could make it? Oh, sure. Sounds like fun. Oh, well, you know, it, uh, it could be the party of the year. <laughs> could go on all night long. Could be a veritable Mardi Gras. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Carl. Yeah. Oh, I wish you could be there. But I only have room for 96 people. You understand. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Okay, we're back, but we're leaving. And before we leave, I, I would like to say one more time, and I don't think I can say this too many times. Don't, don't do business with Fat Barry, okay? Don't do it. And tell your friends not to either, all right? So until tomorrow, be good to yourselves, be good to Buffalo, and be bad to Fat Barry, okay? <laughs> Ciao. I don't want to say you say it. How long do I have to stand up here with a smile on my face, Woody? Go on, say it! Huh? We're clear, happy. Thanks. Woody. What's going on? Sorry, Mr. B, but we got a few signals crossed up. Who's this kid over here walking around behind the cameras during the entire show? It's very distracting. Hey, man. I, I just want to say, I think you're beautiful. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bidding, uh, this is Carl Shubb, Jr. You're Carl's son? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Hey, I just want to say, I, I think I think you're the best thing on TV. I mean it. You're really good, man. Thanks, thanks. I appreciate that. Well, since one of people hired around here without my approval. Well, it was kind of Mr. Shubb's idea. I really had no choice. Woody, I've told you a thousand times, passing the buck is one of your least endearing qualities. Don't do that. I know. I hate that in myself. Still wasn't my fault. However, I'll take the blame if you want Somebody me to. Somebody asked you. And it really should be me. I think so. I think so, too. Get rid of this punk. Right. Hey, you're the greatest human being since L. Ron Hubbard. You're um, mad. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, that's coming from someone like you, really. I, I can't tell you what it means to me. Hey, yeah, hey, really. Hey, yeah. Hey. Oh, hi. What do you think? Where's Biddinger? <laughs> anyway, Bill wasn't running from that fat tub of guts, was he? Mr. Biddinger doesn't run from anything. But well, looks like he's running to me. Not to me. <laughs> Hi, Carl. What do you want? I just uh, wanted to know how you enjoyed your first day in show business. It sucked. sucked. <laughs> yeah. Say, uh, I noticed you were sort of bobbing and weaving around a lot during the show. You know, you might want to cut down on that. Uh, something was itching me. Uh, body lice, I guess. <laughs> Have you thought about taking a bath? No. Anything else? Uh, no, that about that about sums it up. Have you have you gotten to spend any time with Bill? Yeah, actually, I met him in. Uh, Where'd he go? Yeah, I beg your pardon. Bittinger, where is he? I'm afraid. Oh, he's I, in I'm there. Afraid you're mistaken, sir. Get out of my way. I'm afraid I won't. That's my office. If you want to go in there, you'll have to go through me. I can handle it. <laughs> I see. And uh, excuse me. Sir, I'm going to have you forcibly removed from these premises if you don't stop this. You in what army? I oh. see. You don't realize who you're dealing with. <laughs> you're really making me mad. <laughs> what? <sighs> what did you do that for? Uh, I don't know. He, he 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 outweighed me, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, that guy, that guy could have killed you. That was stupid. So what's the difference if I get my brains bashed in? You? Yeah. No skin off my nose. Well, it did take rocks to take 
take on a guy like that. Did it, did it. I didn't notice I was, I was too scared. Rocks. Yeah, you got you were brave. Oh. Well, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, what time are you gonna be home? You mean at my house? Yeah, I live there too. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. sure, sure. What time? Oh, seven, about seven. Did I bum a ride home? Sure. Oh, well, listen, by the way, I, I don't want you to do this from anybody else, so I might as well tell you now. You're fired. He's gone. You actually see him leave? I didn't exactly see him, but so much as I told Don't look you down here! <laughs> Don't move your lips when you're talking. He might still be down there. He's gone. He said if he didn't have your intestines served off on a ladder, he was going to sue you within an inch of your life. And then he left. At least that's what I heard. What a coward. Yeah, you know he broke the elevator? Yeah. How'd you like the way I made it look like I was running away from him? Yeah, what an illusion that was. Yeah, I did that for Carl's son. I just wanted to, you know, show that celebrities have Achilles heels, too. I think the kid bought it. Do you? I wasn't sure. Big guy, huh? Fat Barry? Monster. Think I could have taken him? I don't know. There he is. Why don't you try? <laughs> kidding. I swear. <laughs> camera, I swear. <laughs> I'm going to go over to Newdale's barbecue. What are you going to do? I think I'll just stay here and do a little paperwork. Need the light? No. Night. Night. <laughs>